Now, lesson three for us. All black history must be taught. And in fact, not only must be taught, we will teach it. DeSantis can't stop us from teaching it. And in fact, the college board can't stop us from teaching it. And I want the college board to know this because I've been getting letters from a few of them. I want them to know that you can't stop us from teaching the correct version of African-American history. That is the case. That's the basis of Afrocentricity. We have our own agency. We don't need you to tell us our history. It's like you telling me my mama, my daddy. You don't, I don't need you to do that. I know my own people. We know our own history. We know our own narratives. And we are able to teach our history and will teach our history regardless to what DeSantis or the college board does. Uh, 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 what it does, what, he, what, he, uh, uh, what DeSantis does, or what the college board does. Now, let, let, let me tell you something. Why would I leave out James Baldwin? And we're going to talk about this because this is important because they, they want to leave out Audre Lorde. They want to leave out Bayard Rustin because they say, you know, they were gay. They were LBGTQ. Well, why would I leave them out? Our history is replete with all kinds of people. The, James Baldwin is one of the most brilliant people to ever to live in America. And his writings and his work were significant for us during the Civil Rights Movement. Bayard Rustin organized the 1963 March on Washington. What are you talking about? This is, you know, what fascism is. You may not have heard this word, but the word fascism, it really is a way of organizing a society in which a government controls the lives of the people and tell people what they are allowed to accept and what they're allowed not to accept. That's a fascist government. It tells you, you can do this, but you can't do that. You, can, you, 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 you can't teach African history or African American history. Uh, and and you, you put that into practice. And you, 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 you condemn people, punish people, uh, if people taught African American history. That's, that's, you can't do that. We have always fought Hitlers and Mussolinis. The Battle of Adwa in 1896 was one of the great battles in which the Ethiopians defeated the Italian army. This is when the great Menelik, the great Menelik leader of Ethiopia, met the Italians and defeated them. The reason I mention Italians is because Italians, Irish, and Jews in America have always tended toward how to become white. There are books written about this. How Irish became white, how Jews became white, how Italians became white. Because originally they were not considered by the WASP as whites. You know what I'm saying? This is because the society is hierarchical. And a hierarchical society where you have uh, the white uh, Anglo-Saxon Protestants at the top of the ladder, what they do, everybody else is below them. And so the other people have to struggle and figure out how they're going to get up on that ladder. And part of getting up on that ladder is to be anti-black. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. If you come here from Turkey, if you come here from Italy, and you are anti-black, you side with the notion of white racial supremacy. You no longer say you're Turkish. You no longer say you're Italian. You say, I'm Ronald DeSantis. I'm governor of Florida. 